All right, we're gonna do some finger plays, which means we're gonna use our hands and we're gonna tell some stories. All right, the first one, whose glasses are these? Grandma's, and whose glasses are these? Grandpa's, whose hat is like this? Grandma's, and who has a big hat like this? Grandpa, and who folds their hands like this and puts them in their lap? Mm-hmm, Grandma, and who folds their arms just like that? Grandpa, all right, here we go. These are Grandma's glasses, and this is Grandma's hat, and this is the way she folds her hands and puts them in her lap. These are Grandpa's glasses, and this is Grandpa's hat, and this is the way he folds his arms just like that. All right, I'm gonna leave out some words this time, I wonder. Can you help me? Here we go. These are and this is, and this is the way she folds her hands and puts them. These are, and this is, and this is the way he folds his arms just. Very good, I hope you were doing the words along with me. All right, another one, we have two little, Blackbirds, one named Jack and one named Jill. Here we go. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack and one named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Let's do it again. See if you can say the words this time. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill, one named and one named. Fly away, fly away, come back, come back. Very good. Oh, speaking of birds, birds live in a nest. Can you make a nest with your hands? And this is a nest for a robin. A robin is a kind of bird. And put your hands like this. This is a hive. What lives in a hive? Bees, right? And can you make a hole like this? There's lots of animals that live in a hole. Um, moles and rabbits. This is a hole for rabbit though. And can you make a house like this? Who lives in a house? You do. This is a house. All right, here we go. This is a nest for robin, and this is a hive for bee. This is a hole for rabbit, and this is a house for me. Do it again. This is a nest for robin, and this is a hive for bee. This is a hole for rabbit, and this is a house for me. I'm gonna leave out some parts this time, see if you can fill in the right words. This is a nest for, and this is a hive. This is a hole for, and this is a house for me. All right, last one. Oh, have you ever seen um, big tall telephone poles outside and then there's a wire between the telephone poles? and birds really like to land on that wire, All right? That's what my little story is about. Can you make two telephone poles with your fingers? And then can you put your middle fingers, can you connect them and this is the wire? Make your hands look like mine, All right? And then take your thumbs. These are the two little birdies that hop on the wire. And then can you make them swing? Sometimes when it gets windy, the wire swings. All right, the story goes like this. Two tall telephone poles. Between them, a wire is strung. Two little birdies hopped on and they swung, swung, swung. Do it again. Two tall telephone poles. Between them, a wire is strung. Two little birds hopped on and they swung, swung, swung. <laughs> 